uh, songs, I believe is what it's called. By far the most mature um, album that Elm has produced. It seems like the most well-rounded. Uh, seems like they f are figuring out, you know, 100% what they're going for. And it's kind of a disappointment for... It's great. It's a great album. But at the same time, it's kind of a little tiny bit of a um, disappointment to someone like me who's listened to all their albums and loved them all. And that's the only reason, only reason, is because it's, they're straying from the doomy side and they're going mostly Middle Eastern, which I love. I love the Middle Eastern influence. I mean, I love Middle Eastern music. I love gypsy music. Yeah, you know, any, any of those types of Eastern, European and Middle Eastern uh, music I love. Mediterranean, I love, I just love it, absolutely adore it. But the thing is, is that, uh, you know, the, the style, the sort of trance doom that they were going for at one point, it isn't really necessarily on this album that much. I think State of Non-Return is the only song that is doom-ish, sludge-ish type of it's, it's, it's more metal, you know, it's when, when you can see Al Cisneros steps in as, um, you know, a great bassist, you know, and throughout the album, there's great, there's, the whole album is great bass, I mean, I love Al Cisneros, um, it's a beautiful, but, um, it's just a little tiny bit of a disappointment for someone who has listened to all their albums and expects it to be doomed, but by far, um, probably the most mature, and um, it feels like it feels like one whole song. It feels like the whole album flows really well, and transitions really well. But it's 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 a great album. Check it out.